So in this webinar, I'm just going to explain about how to build an enterprise data lake with some strong data management principles. So what are the opportunities that's present in the enterprise at the moment to actually build a data lake in the first place? So the classic scenario that everybody talks about is to, I'm just going to liberate all the data silos, but that's not entirely the case. The main challenges in most of the organizations are about data sharing. And then how do you actually trust the data that you have? And then you move on from there to go into data analytics. So what is this data sharing problem? So most of the businesses at the moment, when they tend to share the data with someone, they typically go to a business system and then download some data and then they export to an Excel spreadsheet and then they send them to someone else. And then they do some manipulation and then it got transferred to multiple hands. So in this process, you're not actually sharing data. You're actually literally copying data to someone else. The moment you download the data from your business system, it is outdated. It is not real time feed. And if some reports are made on the downloaded data, then your executives are making a delayed decisions or the decision that's not real time, that doesn't mimic the pulse of your business. So that's the main problem that we want to address in terms of data sharing. So the data management principle says that if you want to share the data, you, act, you don't literally copy the data into someone else. You, facil you share them in a way that you have, you can track what people are doing with your data. You, you pretty much control who has access to the data. So that was the opportunity that, that was present. The second opportunity lies in data quality. When I say data quality, it's all about lying with trust. Most of the businesses, they discard some of the reports citing the reason that the data, the data is crap. The, the data, so they don't trust the data even the business produces or the business generates. So how do we actually fix this? So it actually gives an opportunity for a business to build a data lake that takes into account to actually enhances the trust in the data. And obviously you want to do some data analytics, which is once you do this data sharing and data quality really, really well, then the data analytics so it builds a strong platform for doing data analytics. And then ultimately, if you solve these three problems, obviously what you tend to do is you are actually liberating data, a lot of data. So one, if you're building a data lake, don't bring all the data in your business system into the data lake. So that's a that's not a very good practice. So I'll talk about some of the data management principles that will allow you to actually bring the data into the data lake which has only serve a business purpose so that you can do data sharing data quality and data analytics so what was the hadoop promise on this so hadoop was predominantly built on built for doing data analytics in terms of so it's a write once read multiple times paradigm where you have wealth of data and hit and the Hadoop provided with two things. The first is it provides with the distributed distributed computing in terms of MapReduce, and it gives us the distributed storage in, term, in terms of HDFS, Hadoop file system. In most of the scenarios, if you want to implement good data sharing practices and uh, improve data quality, the main, the fundamental framework of Hadoop is not good enough. You need to have some ecosystem components, but still there are like challenges with the Hadoop world. The first is you have a fragmented ecosystem. 
you have Hive, Apache Drill, uh, Apache Ranger, you have Impala, there's a lot of ecosystem components that are extremely fragmented. You, you don't have a, a platform where all these tools actually play together nicely. And you have lots of freedom in the sense with a fragmented ecosystem as well. But it, so the enterprise don't want um, to know the complexity in terms of integration. And the data management tools in terms of the big data platform are still maturing. Apache Atlas, Waterline Data, Sentry are still maturing. They are still keeping up with the, with the needs of an enterprise. And the best practices and standards in the big data world is still evolving. And one of the other pain points in the big data world is that the integration of all the ecosystem components is still a black magic. Only few system integrators know the capabilities of how to actually integ uh, integrate all those uh, ecosystem components so that they play well. However, the enterprise requirements are really, really high. So the enterprise, they, the first thing they want to know is the security, and then they really want to um, understand how we, can, how we can actually enable the business to actually use all these tools because it's open source. Um, a lot of the things, the UIs, uh, the GUIs and the UIs are still maturing. Let me talk about this uh, uh, enterprise data management framework uh, in the next uh, 